Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar Analysis. What do we do in this? We look at the charts of Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar and we look at the open interest data. We look at the FIDI data and we try to form an informed uh, opinion of what the market is likely to do and we suggest some strategies which are highly likely to make some profits in the next day or the few days to come, right? So without further ado, let's jump in right into the analysis. So if you look at yesterday's analysis, you can see that yesterday we had predicted that a dip will happen, but we also said that the dip might not sustain. Uh, most likely the bull trend will continue. There may be some dip and it will try to break out point. Right? Exactly like we predicted, what happened today is, today as soon as the market opened, it came down a little bit like this and it has tested the point from where the breakout has happened. Now if you pay attention to this graph, you will see that around 1800 150 on futures right on nifty futures chart is where the breakout has happened so like we said yesterday it went up came down a little bit and now it is at the breakout point and yesterday we had said that once it retests the breakout point it is likely that it can continue on its upward trajectory like this we also said there's another possibility that it might go down a little bit maybe consolidate here and it can go up we said the third possibility of course is that it can uh, come crashing from here like this. But we said that this is very highly unlikely. So our bets are this possibility which is consolidate here and go up and this possibility which is retest this breakout point and go up, right? So that is what Nifty is doing. So we think the trend is still intact. The chart is suggesting strength. If you look at Bank Nifty again, it has dipped a little bit yesterday. But like we said yesterday, it is highly likely that this thing can bounce up again. Bank Nifty is of course stronger than Nifty now. So it has gone down a little bit and found support once again. Right? Dollar is an interesting bet. Um, although it did go up yesterday, today it has again come down. If you look at USDNR charts on daily, it seems like there is some kind of consolidation happening here. You know, at the top, uh, bottom right corner, you can see that. Around 8180 spot dollar is consolidating. If you look at the weekly chart of dollar, but it is uh, more interesting because <coughs> you can see that um, on the weekly chart, it is formed a big negative candle and today's close is below the negative candles open. So if dollar breaks 8175 types levels on spot, dollar can give you further downside is the dollar analysis, right? So Nifty looks strong, Bank Nifty looks strong, uh, dollar looks uh, like it will continue the downfall. So everything is looking good. It means that the ability to take risks, people getting optimistic is coming back into the market. Now let's look at open interest data, which is the second part of it. Interesting open interest data. Uh, not much of unwinding, except of course uh, at 18,150 uh, strike. But 18100 strike pay, we saw call addition. 18, but below 18100, there is no genuine put unwinding, right? Even today, 18,000 puts were added. Uh, even if you look at last three hours, um, sorry, this is because my internet is off. So, so, like my home Wi Fi is experiencing some issues. But anyway, you can see that overall, the option chain looks like 18200 has massive resistance. But below 18,000, there's plenty of support. PCR is 0 0.8, which is in the neutral territory, right? So let's write that down. 18,200 is a resistance. <coughs> 18,000 is a support. PCR is 0 0.8, which is neutral to mildly bullish. We'll call it neutral. Then tomorrow, of course, is expiry. So all of this open interest based data will go away tomorrow. So Friday can be completely unconnected to today's open interest. So if you look at open interest alone, right, um, you will be tempted to think that 18,200 is a resistance, but please remember that that's only going to be resistance till tomorrow because after tomorrow's expiry, open interest data goes away. Now, if you look at FIDA data, <coughs> FIs have bought 48,000 calls and uh, bought 40,000 puts, bought 50k calls roughly, bought 40k puts, which means mildly bullish, right, mildly, 
And if you look at FIA futures data, after a really long time, FIA have taken sh short position in futures, sold 1400 CR. That is bearish. Right now, finally, if you look at FIA stock data, they have bought 1400 crores. That is bullish, but not really relevant considering that we are trading a uh, weekly options. Right. Uh, so, what's my verdict? Verdict is that uncertainty is there now, but it is more likely that the bull trend will continue. Uh, so, there may be some dip. Uh, which has already happened and it is testing the breakout point, right? So, now at this breakout point, what we have to see is, will it go down or will it go up? If it holds the, if it holds the current, uh, holds the uh, Wednesday's close, then expect bullishness. If it goes below Wednesday's close, expect some small, some dip. Basically, this is my read on it, right? So, Basically, which and of course, uh, there is FOMC event today, so there's no point in you know unnecessarily taking risks when there's an FOMC event. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, uh, that event's result will come tomorrow, so there will be more clarity on that. Uh, so, trades uh, wait for clarity before new trades. This is my entire premise, right? So, alright. So, this is a very short analysis because we are not live. Uh, my internet is having some issues. This is why I recorded it. So, anyway, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet again, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.